Okay, on this video, I'm going to show you how to um, how to open up Access on the Citrix server and get a file into Access at the same time. Uh, this video stops once you pull the day, the, the the Access file into Access on our Citrix server, and this, of course, is for people that can't get the software running at home. They can use our Citrix server. So the first thing I do is I go to lab.devry.edu press enter and then I wait for that to pop up and previously in one of my earlier videos you would have seen about how a file gets installed so that you can just click on it and get into it then I go to apps you can see Microsoft Access 2013 is here I just click on it and up comes the software I need right at the top left Microsoft Access so I click on that and then it opens up. And then I go to a blank desktop database as soon as it gives me my mouse back. Maybe even before. OK, there it is. Now I can go to File, Open, go to the computer and this is the remote Citrix server that doesn't look like what you probably normally see on your own computer I need to navigate here to local disk C on Brent this so this software access is open on a remote computer somewhere else not your own and you have to figure out how to get to your computer from it so this is local disk that's me my computer I click on users then I click on VWARD Music because that's what I called it my main account on this machine. Yours might be different. And then my desktop. I gotta find that. And then there it is, Lab One Northwind. I click on that, go open. And then it should open it up eventually. I have a slow connection here tonight so it's not opening like it should but it should on yours. Once into it there's another video that I posted a minute ago that shows you how to navigate around within Microsoft Access to open up forms, queries, all that. And that's it. You'll see a navigation window come up right here and my other video shows you where to point, where to click, and what to do. And that's all I'm